This is the run through the sports mode, as you can see I've got the sports mode selected here. It's going to be quite a quick demo because to be honest with you it took, there's, there's not really much to this mode. It's actually not the best sports mode in the world to be honest. I went outside, um, I did a demo which I'm going to put on this video and I live by a roundabout so I just took pictures constantly, I just held my finger on the button, took lots of pictures and you don't really get a sense of the movement. The good thing is it keeps the focus very well so if you've got someone running past or um, you know you've got fast cars going past anything like that it can keep the focus quite well to a point where you completely press down that shutter and take the picture but in terms of getting the actual stream of movement that a lot of people want from sports mode like pow 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 many pictures all in one go you're not likely to get that with this camera but you will get a speedy shot in clear focus which is handy um, the main setup on this um, mode one thing that you can change is the exposure if you press the exposure button which is this top one here with the plus and minus so if we press that you can see this grid come up at the bottom at the moment it's telling us that it, there's no alteration in the exposure the exposures on zero so it's the the basic setting that the camera's picked and um, those two arrows either side just tell you that you can move the wheel to change that so if we just up the exposure you'll see that it's letting a lot more light and the image is a lot brighter so vice versa if we turn the wheel and go the other way it will go a lot darker this can be handy if you're in a well lit stadium or um, you know the other way around if uh, the sports place you're in isn't actually very well lit maybe like a skate park something like that it's always good to be able to change the exposure up or down and you can see that this um, square at the bottom reflects how much you're changing that exposure I don't really feel the need to use this too often, the auto settings are pretty decent but the options there if you want it. So that's there. In the main function set button which is this middle one here you can choose between continuous shooting and that it will um, keep the focus throughout or single shot. I don't really know why you would use single shot in a sports mode because it's always good to take as many as you can during a fast action just in case the camera does lose focus. These other modes I've already covered in the automatic functions video if you want to have a look at that that will um, tell you about those. You can't use flash on sports mode this is probably because the flash can't keep up. If you flip up the flash it's still not going to let you use it it will just take the picture without so there's no point putting the flash up. Um, this is also handy to have the uh, the exposure where you can put it up or down because without a flash you may find that you haven't got enough light so putting up that exposure is really going to help. Uh, I'm going to try and demo something moving fast, taking a picture of it, but I don't know how well that's going to come out because all I've got is the traffic outside and people walking past, but we'll see what we can do. Obviously I can't take a video of someone I don't know, so... Um, it will probably be of cars but as I said I took the video from around the roundabout so I put that on so you can see the sort of gaps in the movement as to how how quick I can actually keep up with a car alright um, so I hope that helps any other questions let me know okay so this was a shot I did with the sports mode during daytime in traffic um, you can see a white car comes around the roundabout and this is one after the other I didn't stop between taking these pictures so that's how much speed it can pick up in one go um, I tried this again at night time but it just it couldn't keep up because it was too dark um, it basically they all blurred it, it doesn't deal particularly well in low light unfortunately it, but during the daytime as you can see the focus remained on the car and uh, it worked quite well but um, you have to really try it in a lot of different situations I haven't really had the right situation come up for me to try it out um, I then tried it in the garden um, there was a robin on the fence I stupidly decided to play with the exposure at this point at a time when I would not on that day and get the robin again so these are quite overexposed but um, 
nevertheless, you can see the the robin does a noise and then it sort of puffs itself out. And I managed to get the three stages of that. So it is a little bit blurry as well. Again, I was just I was rushing to get the robin and I stupidly overexposed it and it just didn't look very nice. But I did get pictures later on. I'll put a couple of those on here as well. You'll probably see them coming up now. You can, you could have got the robin in a much better quality, but I was too busy messing around uh, and I didn't manage to get what I wanted from it. But yeah, the, the robin's um, looking pretty cool. Overall, I think the, um, the sports mode, it's not wonderful. It's not the best. I would actually much rather take a picture in manual and get a decent picture then we're using the sports mode and it being all blurry and not very nice so other people may have a different opinion I, I will try it out again and if I ever experience something different uh, different, I'll put a new review or I'll put what I found out in the information box but as far as it goes I mean I've been reviewing it trying out the different settings and I've I never really use sports mode anyway but in this case it kind of help me prove my point because I didn't really get the best results from um, the nighttime shots but I think the robin came out well and the traffic came out well so you clearly you can use it um, to get something that's moving along but I don't know really if it's uh, wonderful compared to just using a manual setting with a quick shutter speed so that's my views on the sports mode um, let me know if you've got any other opinions and the next bit I'm going to be doing in my reviews is I'm going to be going through the scene selections. So there's a lot of presets in that video. There's going to be things like the snow mode, the fireworks mode. Um, it's quite a cool setup. They've got a lot of presets. And it's going to be quite a long video, so hopefully I won't ramble too much. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video.